Burr. Yeah, Jason, I talked with several people and they say affirmative, affirmative action gave them an equal playing field and the opportunity to receive a higher education. Now, many are left wondering about the ripple effects of this decision. Some of the top universities are right here in Philadelphia. Now many students and staff are weighing in on the Supreme Court ruling against affirmative action. Damn, that really sucks because um, as of right now, we don't really have any other structural processes to ensure that we have diversity, particularly economic diversity. Well, I'm a first generation student, so I'm someone who's obviously benefited from affirmative action. Chad Lassiter is a national expert on race relations and says diversity matters in higher education, which then leads to diversity in the workforce. What we know is that there are some historical wrongs. Uh, that have been done from an institutional standpoint, uh, and it affords a playing field uh, to create more diversity uh, in higher education uh, from a perspective of our predominantly white institutions. But some are applauding the 6-3 Supreme Court decision, including the public interest law firm Liberty Justice Center, who says striking down affirmative action was long overdue. It was really outrageous that uh, state schools were allowed to engage in uh, race discrimination openly in their admissions in a way that we normally wouldn't tolerate at all. You can look at the whole person, but what you can't do is just categorize people based on their race. This ruling is undoubtedly raising questions at colleges and universities. Donald Harris of Temple Beasley School of Law says it's simply too soon to answer. Pardon the concern that I have is how far reaching this opinion might be. It doesn't mean now that we have to do away with all diversity efforts at the school, um, or is it simply the admissions process? Can we no longer say, check this box for race? And can we no longer ask what their race is? If, if it's that limited, then, then I think that there's hope to move forward. While the fallout is unclear, some are hoping this forces a fresh lens into improving admissions at colleges and universities. We see like a lot of students of different races, but not necessarily of different economic status. So I feel like it was in some sense, it was a bridge to where we want to go. Giving everyone the ability to compete at a college level is and the opportunity, that's all some, some kids ask for, it's just the opportunity to be there. We reached out to several universities. The University of Pennsylvania says it's studying the court's opinion to ensure compliance with the law. St. Joseph's University says the decision will not alter its admissions practices as it doesn't take race into consideration. Drexel University says the ruling is a significant setback for racial justice. All three universities go on to say they value diversity and are committed to their beliefs moving forward. And we will have much more on this historic ruling at 10 tonight. Jennifer, thank you.